What's up, TRT community? Let's help each other. So I've been getting a few questions lately about what type of gauges I use on my syringes and the drawing syringe and the injecting syringe. And so here we are in my bathroom because this is where I do my injections and I just got my prescription refilled and so I'm very thankful for that. I will do a video very soon because as you guys have been watching know there was a little bit of a lapse in my injections and so I'm gonna make a video very soon about what I experienced during that lapse. But today's topic is something a little different, okay? So when it comes to my drawing syringe, the gauge that I've always used since I started, probably because this is the gauge that the pharmacist gave me, was 18. 18 by one inch. This is what I've always used as my drawing syringe. There was a time where I thought I could do without this drawing syringe. Those of you who've seen really old videos of mine know that I at one time said that I just used my injecting syringe to draw with and inject with. However, I learned that that can dull the needle and cause a little bit more pain upon injection. Not a lot more pain, but I have noticed that I just wanted to go back and use a drawing needle as well and not just my injecting needle to do everything. When it comes to the injecting syringe, I have always used the 23 gauge by one inch. That's again what I started with. I think because my pharmacist gave that to me uh, with my initial prescription way back in the day. That's just what I got and that's what I've stuck with because it works for me. It works fine. However, I almost did a deltoid injection the other day because of a friend of mine named Travis and I forget the name of his YouTube, but he's going through a really cool body transformation right now. So I'll put his name down here below. You can check out his YouTube channel. He's on TRT as well and uh, it's really been helping him just get back to his old self. So you can check out his YouTube channel too if you'd like. He only does deltoid injections. And so in a past video, we were talking about injections and where we do them, and you guys a lot of, left a lot of comments. He mentioned, oh, I've always done deltoid. It works for me, it works perfect. So I almost used this 23 gauge to do a deltoid the other day, but seeing it, I guess, so close to my face, I realized, man, this thing is like a harpoon. In the glute, it just doesn't seem so huge to me, but looking at it like that, I thought, uh, that's a little big. And so, <laughs> If I ever do deltoid, I may use a 25 gauge or a 27 gauge, something a little skinnier just because it seemed like way too big. You're a big girl, ain't you? Anyway, next I want to show you guys how I do my injection. I just want to go all the way through it because that's also come up in some comments as well. Okay guys, this probably goes without saying, but of course wash your hands before you get started. That's just wise to do. There will be a cap on your testosterone if it's brand new, if you just get it from the pharmacy. So as you know, you've done this before, I'm sure you have to take that off. Now what I do, just because I'm in the practice of doing this, is of course wipe the top of that before you draw any of your testosterone out of there. Wipe the top just to make sure it's nice and clean, sanitary, and then set that down again because you're gonna need that again, of course, in just a second when you prep the injection area unless you want to use a second one. You will then of course draw next and so unscrew that. Screws right on. Now don't forget that you want to inject the amount that you're going to in, uh, draw from the vial. You want to inject that amount of air up into the vial so that um, you don't get too much uh, vacuum in there and it just makes it harder and harder to draw that out because if you're only ever injecting that in there and then pulling out each time, pulling out of there, there's going to get this vacuum inside there. So you always want to push in what you're going to be pulling out. And as you guys may recall, I'm currently injecting 40 milligrams twice a week. That's what I changed to. You heard that in the past video. And so, um, that's going to be on a Monday, I inject on Mondays, and then I'll in inject again maybe like a Thursday evening or Friday morning. Since I inject 40 milligrams a week, each one of these little tick marks is going to be 20 milligrams. So I've got a video about that and I will put a link to it at the end. I'm gonna pull that much out. And what I like to do, see how there's, I like to pull an extra because there's a, an air bubble in there too, like you see. So I want to push that back up into the vial. 
and then make sure that I've got exactly that much testosterone to inject. Then I pull this back down really hard because I want all the testosterone to have come out of this. I just pull it a few different times before I change out the needle. Then hold that nice and straight when I push back up. So I want to get every bit of bubble out of there. And then of course, I'm going to make sure that as I press, I see a tiny little bubble start to come out of this syringe right there. It's like liquid gold though. We don't want to mess too much up. So it's ready to inject. All right, well you guys are definitely not going to get to see me inject. We don't want any of that. You know, I'd like to keep you guys as subscribers. I don't want to scar anyone, because trust me, scaring people, scarring people, images that you can never unsee. And so I'm about to do my injection, then I'm gonna show you guys something that I wanna show you, something I changed just recently. So stick around just one second, I'm gonna do my injection, and I'll be right back, because I wanna show you guys this. I think it's kind of important. All right, well that went well. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, no big deal. All right, I made a video in the past about what to do with the leftover, because as you guys know, there's a little bit of leftover, isn't there? Whenever you inject a little bit of leftover right in there, what I found out is it's about two or three or four tiny little drops. So in the past, I told you guys that what I did was I actually used to pull back a little bit on that and drip the excess onto my arm right here, that that's, um, thin skin that's on your forearm, and I just rubbed it in. That's what I used to do in the past, but let me tell you, I changed, and I'm gonna tell you why I changed. Somebody left a really helpful comment, and I love that about our community. We help each other. I've been helped so much by your comments, and I've had a lot of people tell me that they've been helped by my channel. So I just love the fact that we help each other, and I'm gonna zoom in, so hopefully you can see this. All right, so I'm zoomed way in here. By the way, this is what I use, if you guys were wondering, testosterone sipionate. And finally, my doctor started prescribing me the larger bottles, and I saved $184 using the goodrx.com app, which I'm going to leave a, uh, a um, what you call them, thumbnail to at the end for you to click on. All right, so what I've been doing lately, guys, is this. First of all, you're going to pull back on your syringe to get some bubbles to form in there. See those bubbles forming? Yes, you do. And then, zoom in real close on this guy. I inject in there, and you can see the needle inside there. Watch, watch how many drips I'm able to get out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> wow, nine, ten. Goodness, I had a lot of little drips in here. Maybe I should have pressed a little harder when I was injecting. Then I pull back and I press one more time just to make sure I got it all. Now, some of you might be saying, but Cohen, um, don't you get like a little, a few little molecules of your own blood in there or something like that? Well, guess what? With this, with the last 10 milliliter vial that I had, I did that with almost every single injection and nothing ever happened to my testosterone. It never got compromised in any, any way, never um, turned a different color or, or anything like that. It never changed anything, and I was still feeling perfectly fine on uh, with my injections. So that's what I've been doing now so I don't waste any of these precious drips, and they are very precious to me because you guys know I just had a lapse going from one refill to the next, a week and a half, and I'm gonna have a video about that soon, about what I experienced during that week and a half. So anyway, hope this helps you guys. Thanks for watching, God bless, peace. Click on this video right here to see a video all about how you can save if you don't have insurance. Click on this video right here if you want to see how you can measure what all these little tick mark means and make sure you're getting your right amount injected. Bye guys.